Hello, here we are in Barbican again. It's a part two of this video. Uh, Sigma launched Z lenses, and we reviewed one already, which was 16 mil. Mm -hmm. But now we have a portrait lens with us, which is 56 f 1.4, which is roughly equivalent of your standard 85 millimeter lens. Yeah, so we're going to take some portraits. Yeah. Off we go. So I want you to look at me. I'm going to see how blurry I can make the background with the 56 1.4. 56 1.4. So I'm going to do a, a live demonstration here. Yeah, what kind of face you want me to do? Pensive, like you, like you grew up in the Barbican. <laughs> the, the hood face. Yeah, exactly. You look pretty angry in that. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So let's talk about 56 millimeter lens for a bit. First of all, it fits nicely with any DXZ mirrorless cameras. Small and light, on Z50 I think it's perfect because Z50 has a grip. It's fairly portable and it is smaller than Nikon Z518 lens, which a lot of people will compare that to. It's also cheaper, smaller and lighter. So if you don't plan to go full frame, then this one is a good choice. It's also cheaper than 518. Bake it in the flowers. Yeah, I'm just testing. Flowers. Okay, so we that's too close. So that right there. No, there. That's mm, if the plant would stop moving, it'd be really nice. That's pretty good actually. It's, it's not what, too bad. Yeah, 40 centimeters. Yeah. Yeah, about 40 centimeters, 45 centimeters, I think. Hmm. If only we would have a spreadsheet with all the specs. If only. Let's talk about the autofocus of this lens. It's about the same as 51.8S or Tamron 7300 lens. It's not slower, not faster. So I would call it pretty average. I wouldn't call it super fast for sure. Now, what I really like about this lens is the bokeh. It's battery smooth, it's not nervous at all. The transition between shadows and mid-tones to highlights is very nice. So whatever Sigma does this, they really do the right thing at the right price. Although I'm not really a portrait photographer, one thing I do like about this lens is the fact that you can use it to isolate details and kind of remove distractions from your shots. It's also great to finally have a 1.4 lens in the Z lineup because believe it or not, we've got 1.2, we've got 1.8, but we don't have 1.4. And uh, it's a real happy medium in such a compact package. So let's talk about vignetting. Actually, vignetting is there, but goes away literally at f2, 2.8. So it's not your heavy vignetting that we see on Voigtlander lenses. It's more of a kind of modern vignetting that we see on Nikon lenses instead. Now, in terms of focus breathing, I would say it's got a bit of it, but it's not severe. So in terms of flare, it's there, but it's not significant. Again, even fully wide open and it's kind of a modern lens. So in terms of this, you won't get this vintage flair with all the artifacts that come with it. It's well controlled. Pointing at the sun is there. When you're not pointing at the sun, it's not there. All right, what about purple fringing? Purple fringing in extreme situations, again, pointing at the sun, it is there. Not bucket loads compared to other lenses we tried, but stop down against 2.8, they pretty much disappear. So overall, modern coatings, modern rendering, all this stuff disappeared when you stop it down by a couple of stops. In conclusion, if you want a really nicely built metal mount DX lens for portraiture, then you really can't go wrong with this Sigma lens. It is only 285 grams and it's at least on par with the competition, if not slightly better. Yeah, if you're a DX user, 
I wouldn't hesitate to use this lens for commercial work just because the rendering it provides is really, really nice. So if you're a portrait photographer, you're on a budget, you don't want to go full frame, then get this lens, you won't be disappointed. There you go. We hope you found this review useful. Please give us a like and a subscribe if you did and uh, watch out for more reviews on these lenses coming soon. If you found this video super useful, this super thanks button as well, don't forget about that. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs>